been managing at Goldman Sachs now for 31 straight business days. So I started a couple months ago. And I'm here to show compassion for the employees at Goldman Sachs and the institution of Goldman Sachs and demand that they do the same for the billions of people affected by their practices. So I come out here every day, I meditate for an hour, I do a 25 minute sitting meditation followed by a 15 minute walking meditation, another 25 minute sitting meditation. And the goal is really to sit with the practices that Goldman Sachs does. So as a large mega investment bank, Goldman Sachs' practices led directly to the recession that took place in 2008. They continued very similar practices and moved into the commodities industry. There was a recent story that came out in the New York Times about the work that they've done manipulating the aluminum market in order to make profits on every single can of soda or any aluminum that gets sold in the United States. Pennies on each can that come out of the pockets of ordinary, everyday Americans, in the same way that ordinary, everyday Americans were hurt by the recession in 2008, especially homeowners. And so what I'm here to do is bring attention to and mindful attention to the harm done by those practices and identify that suffering and say enough is enough, but in a way that treats the people that are incurring that harm with the kind of love and compassion that we would treat our dearest loved ones, the people we care about the most, because these are people too. They come from backgrounds, they come from a way of life, and this is how their lives have ended up in the same way that our lives happen to end up the way that they do. And so we're not here to do character assassination, ad hominem attacks on the individuals of Goldman Sachs. So there's definitely been a few nasty comments. There's somebody who told me that I should get a job. There have been people who say, you're in the wrong place, what are you doing here? Those kinds of comments. But there's also been some really beautiful moments. A fellow came up to me a couple weeks ago and he said, I just want you to know that you're doing the most important work of anybody in lower Manhattan. And today, for instance, a woman offered me a cold soda because it's a hot day in New York City. So those kind of moments are really beautiful and really awesome. Um, and, and I've even gotten contact anonymously from security guards here at Goldman Sachs. I received an email that I list on a little sheet that I hand out here from a security guard anonymously who said, listen, we really support the work that you're doing. We really think that you're doing something special here. Um, of course, we can't say it publicly and we can't give you our name, but we just want you to know that we support you. So there hasn't been any kind of magically profound moment of a Goldman Sachs banker confessing their deepest sins or speaking about their conscience and how torn they've been. But there have certainly been a few really beautiful moments of people really standing in solidarity with me and encouraging me to keep up this effort. Yeah, so I think what people can do most effectively and most helpfully is come out and meditate with me. I hold group meditations on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays of every week that take place either at 1 p.m. or at 9 a.m., depending on my work schedule, because I also work at a restaurant in Brooklyn. Besides that, folks can go to our website, our website at BuddhaOnStrike.org, and a Twitter at BuddhaOnStrike. That's where we list information about what we're doing, list information about Goldman Sachs and their practices, and also have an open discussion about how compassion and mindfulness can enter into politics in the United States and create a society that treats its people and each other with love and respect.